Hey world, how's it going? Um, I'm going to start this video off by saying you don't know my name. And um, that's cool that you don't because a lot of people, a lot of people where I live here do. And sometimes I don't know if it's necessarily for the right reasons, but um, I'm kind of a sight for sore eyes. So I just say that to emphasize how does it make me feel. And um, so I'm just going to get started. My name's Trinity. I'm 25 years old and um, I live in the great state of Indiana. Isn't that a joy? The Bible Belt of America. Um, I identify myself as a transgendered woman. I was born male and um, somewhere along in the lines, um, well, here's the thing. I've always like had such aggression towards like drag queens and like I was always like jealous of them because they always got to perform and I've cheered like the majority of my life and they got to perform and they were so beautiful and everything but it was taboo I was born in 92 like I mean it wasn't that taboo but where I'm from it was like nah go ahead so um I did the best that I could do I was a chameleon I blended in a lot and um <clears throat> I had an ex-boyfriend one time, and um, he had this obsession for, like, transgendered women, and that was just something that I could not give him. So uh, one day, I dressed up in drag, and, um, like, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I knew that I wanted to make him jealous, and um, it was something that just kind of, kind of stuck. It was like... I felt more comfortable in women's clothing than I did in men's clothing. Everything about it made sense. And on the inside, I've always been a girl. Like, I've always, you can ask anybody, like, they'll be like, Trinity is the most sensitive soul that you'll ever meet. Like, I just don't know. But um, that leads on to gender roles and things like that. Like, <clears throat> a lot of people are like, oh, well you have to be a man like you're a man in a wig and things like that and i'm like no that's not necessarily the case of like just read a fucking book for real like that's where i'm at on the whole subject and the whole topic like there's a difference between sex and gender sex is male female those are what you were born with biologically when you came out of your mother's hoo-ha all right, so um, after that leads you to gender. Gender is an expression, how you choose to express yourself, whether it be expressing yourself as a man or expressing yourself as a woman. So if I were a construction worker, I would, in our world society, we classify that as a masculine role, as a gender that a man would do, versus cooking like Betty Crocker, and notice is Betty Crocker and not Uncle Sam. I don't know if that was like racist or whatever or sexist or whatever, but like that would be a woman role. So when women start doing things that men would normally do and men start doing things that women normally do, that's when it gets a little transitional because here in America, um, everything's progressing. So it would be a transgendered role technically for a woman to work construction, okay? Um, or a man to go out and do some hair or something. Like, that's normally a role that a woman would do. But it's all about how you identify. And um, these things don't make you gay. They don't make you anything like that. And if we want to get a little more complicated, which I'll do another video about it because there's so many things going on in the world, but I also consider myself a heterosexual transgender woman because I am a woman that is attracted to men. And I can see a few of you right now looking back like, whoa. All right, so just imagine how it feels for you to call me a man and for you to tell me that like my whole life is wrong like it really sucks because I look the way that I look right now and I look this way on purpose today 
I purposely did not do hair. I purposely did not do makeup um, because it's really about like what's inside you. And um, this isn't normally the way that I look all the time, for real, for real. But um, I just think that it's important for the world to know that not all transgender people are like have had surgeries and have been on testosterone or has been on estrogen or things like that and it's really a struggle every day when you wake up and you look like this like not this but like in your natural like male body that it just doesn't it doesn't feel comfortable it's like having a six a six finger like and um it's it's uncomfortable so it's just something me personally that I don't I'd feel more comfortable if um, these that if I could express what was on the inside on the outside because the inside is like this beautiful goddess of fucking awesomeness and fucking love and all this other stuff but that's not that's not what people see it takes a little bit longer for people to see what's on the inside and that's okay So, um, I get tired on the daily for, you know, going to the supermarket and they're like, well, why do you, why do you want to be a a woman? Like you clearly like look like it. I can tell from your Adam's apple. Like, and I'm like, dude, cause fuck you. That's why. That's exactly why. Fuck you. I don't understand. It's not for you to understand. It's not for everybody to understand. And I'm just doing this to say that it does get better. Like... This right here is normally what I look like from the day-to-day basis. And you're like, world of difference, okay? Say hello to that beautiful girl. Oh, yeah, I fuck her. She's so cute. Oh, my God. Whoa, what's that monster? You know? Um, oh, she's playing a trick on me. No, dude, nobody had time to wake up today and say, hey, I'm going to play a trick on you. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do today. When I did my hair today, it was not so I could have conversation with you. I assure you of that it's because um, male or female, I'm not walking out in public looking like this, but <laughs> I'm doing it for the sake of the video. Because like I said before, I see so many transgender videos on the internet of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women. And I'm just like, how the fuck did you get there? Like, like, I don't understand. So hopefully you guys get to go through my transition with me and um, you'll get to see what goes on in my life on the daily. And um, yeah, it's good. I think that I would love for you all to be a part of it. And if you all have any questions, let me know. I've been in transition for about a year and a half now, and um, I had a little trouble with my doctor because I have hep C, and if anybody's interested in learning the process of the steps to take um, to, you know, go on with your transition or any helplines or anything like that, just drop a comment, and um, I've been on um, estrogen for a while now. I have a little patch. I don't do the pill because right there. Um, I have hepatitis C, so my liver is not the best because I'm a raging alcoholic and I like to drink because of my inner issues and I like to blame other people. I don't know how to deal with my feelings when people are mean to me, so I used to drink quietly to solve those problems, which is not the answer. Drugs are bad, okay? Um, And then I'm also on testosterone blockers, and I've been on those for about three weeks now. Um, So, yeah, that's about it. I love you all. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.